Hey guys, this is Abel and today I'm going to show you how to import any patch to the Worship Essentials template. Just make sure you follow the instructions provided from whoever you get the patches from. Once everything is installed correctly, uh, then you should be able to follow the steps I'm going to be showing today. So now let's go to edit window. There are different ways that you can import patches into a main stage template and today I'm going to show you a few of them. The first one will be adding another layer to an existing patch. This patch has five layers. One, two, three, four, five. So let's say I want to add another one. Uh, so select the patch and click the plus button right here. Type the number of channels you want to create. The type and then uh, in Worship Essentials, I split the output. Uh, I have a separate output for all pianos and then a separate output for all synth to have independent control over them. So if this is a piano or, or synth, click here and go under bus. And then if this is a piano, select piano. And if this is a synth, select synth. I want to add an electric piano so I'm going to select piano out and then create and now you just created a new channel strip. To be able to load that make sure you save your the patches you want to load as channel strip settings. So for example go to your concert where you have the patch you want to import select the patch and then I want to let's say I want to import or I want to load this patch go up here and then uh, save as channel strip settings name it hit save uh, but I already did that so I'm going to cancel so now let's go to where I want to load the patch you can do that um, uh, in two ways uh, you can go up here uh, user channel strip settings and the Cloudy EP, that's right here. And um, you can also select the channel and you can see the channel strip settings down here and look for your CST file. Now, make sure you map the fader to control the volume. Select the fader, um, hit map parameter, and then select the uh, fader in main stage. And then uh, let's set it at zero decibel. So now we're controlling the fader. Uh, okay, there's no sound in there. So make sure you click that channel strip if you, if you have no sound in there. And then go under MIDI input. For some reason, it loaded in the keyboard two channel, even though we selected keyboard one. Uh, I don't know what happened so um, make sure you you go here under MIDI input and then select the, your main keyboard so now we have six layers at this patch level we have a piano a pad another pad a synth a lead and then the electric piano we just added Okay, so now another way of um, creating a new patch inside of Worship Essentials is um, by creating a copy of the same patch. Click Option and then drag it down. Uh, this way, so you don't have to remap the faders and the, uh, uh, the all, all the controls in there. So what I recommend is uh, to create a completely new patch. Simply replace all the channel strips. One, two, three, four, five. Or maybe delete some if you don't need them. But you can go up here and uh, replace uh, this channel strip. Um, let me see what this is. 
this is a synth so uh, make sure to send it to the synth output okay so there's a second instrument I want to load another synth um, it's going to be uh, right here so for this patch let's say I only need this two uh, leads so I'm going to delete the other patches uh, yes I delete the electric piano yes and then delete the other synth um, yes so because we are creating a new uh, patch so this is patch one and this is patch two okay just a little something extra uh, the release and this patch is kind of short so I'm going to make them a little longer a little longer okay that's good so now uh, name this differently maybe just lead or whatever all right so this patch right here which is called the um let me see it's called the uh, bright 80s lead is from a pack called retro wave and this one right here which is called uh, sb4 ag lead bright it's from sensation 4 so that's uh that way you don't have to uh, map or assign anything it's already done from the previous patch so now when you save the concert or you can create a folder for your edited patches and then you just drag it to that folder uh, for me the folder it's called main stage patches so so now when you don't need this patch you can delete it and then when you need it you need it back just bring it drag it to the patch list and you'll have the same you'll have the same patch um, and you can see all the uh, controls are mapped okay so that's that and then another way is by simply creating an untitled patch by going here or you can also go here new patch or you can just go here and load patch uh, for this example I'm going to go here so to show you guys where your uh, user patches are simply go there patches or instrument uh, I'm going to load a patch from a pack called element volume 1 and then I'm going to load the patch called by piano 2 and then import uh, it did create another patch so let's delete the untitled patch now this patch is different from the others uh, this one is called track stack which is made out of um, four instrument and then the output is combined to this bus called summing bus um, so what you will have to do is uh, since we created a new patch it is not mapped to control the volume so this all these four instruments work as just one patch so uh, I have a few of those patches in my sensation library um, the holy pad is one of them from sensation 7 <clears throat> so uh, select the fader the unscreen control hit parameter 
click on map parameter and then uh, click on the sum bus and then 0 to the B again assign again uh, let's set the tempo so to see if this one uh, works uh, let's set that to 71 so So then we are controlling the volume from uh, this uh, this uh, channel right here uh, where all the instruments is going. So now to be able to use the synth tone or the piano tone, you have to send this, this output to that bus. Let's, uh, this is a piano and synth at the same time. So let's put it on the synth. Uh, channel so when I uh, move the synth uh, knob <clears throat> okay so let me show you one more example uh, in using the uh, holy pad from sensation 7 uh, let's go here and then load patch and then uh, instrument and then go to sensation 7 and then let's find the holy path right here and then click import and this is another uh, patch that's created as a track stack in logic the same uh, for Five instrument um, and then they're all going into this um, channel so this is what you will uh, use to control the volume so again let's uh, select the first fader um, map parameter and then click on the bus called sum 0 dB <clears throat> and then map parameter again. So this is uh, a huge path. So you're controlling the volume of all the patches. kind of patches uh, the track stack patches are supposed to be treated as one patch so uh, don't mess with the the uh, individual faders this is the only one you need to uh, map and then don't forget to send it to the specific out which is the send out this is a send pad So when you uh, send it to the synth out, then you can use the synth tone up. So for this kind of patches, if you want to add more instrument, then you can go here. The same thing with what we did it, uh, for the first example. Uh, create your uh, uh, empty channel strip and then load maybe the electric piano again, just for this example. Um, then make sure the MIDI input uh, select your keyboard one is selected and then play with the uh, scent tone this one right here 
this is what the separate synth tone and piano tone is for so you can bring down just the, the synth and then the piano will still be there so that and then the mod wheel Okay, uh, so that's all for now guys. I hope uh, you got some ideas. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.